Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about common monomial factoring or the CMF. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So the basic rule on how to perform common monomial factoring in factoring polynomials is that we need to factor out the greatest common factor or the GCF from all terms. So for you to figure out what is meant by this rule, let's have example number one. We have 4x plus 12. So the first thing we need to do is to identify what is the greatest common factor between the two terms 4x and 12. So here's the tip. First, you need to know the factors or the GCF between the numbers 4 and 12. Okay, what is the greatest common factor? Definitely, the answer is 4. Now, as for the variables, you need to see whether the variables are existing in both terms. Here we have x and the second term we don't have the variable x, meaning the variable is not included in our GCF. So what's next? This is now considered as the greatest common factor of this polynomial. So you can start putting that GCF as the first factor. Now how can we get the next factor? What we need to do is to divide each term by the GCF, which is 4 and 4. So 4x divided by 4, we can simply cancel this out and cancel this out. We have the variable x. Next, 12 divided by 4, that would be plus 3. And as you can see, this is now the factors of our first given polynomial. Now, if you want to check whether your answer is correct, we can simply use distributive property. Look, if we will multiply 4 times x, that would be 4x. If we will multiply 4 and 3, 4 times 3, that would be plus 12. And as you can see, that is the same from the original given. Now let's proceed with example number 2. We are given 3x minus 15. So what is the GCF of these two terms? Okay, very good. The GCF is simply 3, since the variable is not existing in both terms. Now, this is our first factor. Divide the whole or the two terms by 3. Cancel this out, and you have your x. And then 15, or negative 15 divided by 3, that would be minus 5. And these are the factors of the second example. Now let's proceed with example number 3. We are given 5x squared plus 20x. Now you can pause the video for a while and try to figure out and factor this one go. Okay, what do you think is the GCF between 5x squared and 20x? Let's go first with the numbers. Between 5 and 20, their GCF is definitely 5. And as for the variable, since the variable x is existing in the first and the second term, here's the tip. Get the variable with the least exponent. Again, get the variable with the least exponent. So now, the variable with the least exponent is this x. So the GCF is 5x. So we have here 5x. Then divide each term by 5x, cancel this, cancel this, and then your x squared divided by x is simply x. And as for this, 20 divided by 5 is plus 4. Then we can simply cancel out x and cancel out x. And now the factors are 5x times x plus 4. Let us proceed with example number 4. We have 7x squared minus 21x cubed. Now, what do you think is the GCF between 7 and negative 21? Okay, very good. The answer is simply 7. What about for the variable x? As I have mentioned earlier, get the variable with the least exponent, and that is x squared. Now, the greatest common factor of these terms is 7x squared. This will serve as the first factor. And divide this by 7x squared, divide this by 7x squared. So we have 7 divided by 7, cancel this out, and cancel this out. 
what we have here is 1. Then negative 21 divided by 7, that would be negative 3. And as for the variables x, square, x cubed over x squared, we have simply the variable x because we will subtract the exponents 3 minus 2, that would be equal to 1. So guys, I hope you learned something from this video. And as part of our routine, I will give you another example wherein you will tell me in a comment section what is your answer for item number 5. Let's try having 10x minus 30. What do you think are the factors of these examples? So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!